All right, hello everybody, what's happening? Welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about Gareth Bale, uh, something that's been topical on the, you know, for, for years, I guess you'd say, as far back as we remember. And we're also gonna be talking about Tibo Courtois comments on Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid. Uh, just two things that I've gotten from the media that have been kind of, um, you know, noticeable. But other than that, it's been so slow these past few days with the international break that I didn't really want to make too many videos and bombard everyone with videos that were menial or meaningless. Because uh, there is no reason in doing so. I'd rather provide you guys with, um, you know, better quality than quantity. Uh, so that's why I, ha I just haven't made videos these days because there hasn't been much to talk about. Um, you know, I really don't care about the international break. I could care less, and I think a lot of people do, you know, could just care less, really. I think we like um, the World Cup and, you know, maybe Copa America. The Euros, yes, those are relevant, but uh, these little international breaks, I think they're kind of useless, even though there is a trophy attached to them, which is um, the UEFA Nations League. I just think they're so useless. Uh, but anywho, let's get started on today's topic with Van der Bart and his comments on Gareth Bale and what I think of them. So Vanderbart had to say this on Gareth Bale. He said, it's strange, but in Holland, we say that sometimes you need to be an a-hole. You can also be a positive a-hole. So it's obvious that Gareth Bale, he's kind of the nice guy. He's always been the nice guy, you know, and throughout the years, I think we've seen that he can be a little bit shy. Uh, but um, I think in the past two years, I haven't seen that too much. I've seen him more as the a-hole person. I've seen the a-hole personality kind of out there more, especially after the Champions League final when he criticized uh, Zidane for not for not having and started him and also you could just kind of see it throughout the season um, you can kind of see little incidents here and there where um, he can just prove to be that that eight little a-hole but um, it's it's not a bad thing um, you know all all kind of all great players they do come with that personality they come with their own baggage you had Ronaldo that came with his baggage where it all it always had to be about him you have Neymar who came who who comes with his baggage, um, you know maybe I would say Messi doesn't have that baggage as much and you know I'm not trying to say Messi is better than Ronaldo here but um, but Messi just doesn't have that baggage I think that's just the fact um, you could say Mbappe doesn't have that baggage either but again we don't, I don't know much about Mbappe so I wouldn't be able to say but Gareth Bale does he does have his side I would say um, that's not always 100 percent true. So Van der Vaar had this to say about Gareth Bale too. He said he's worth $100 million. They paid a lot of money and he has to do it. In his last year at Spurs, he took every free kick. He decided everything. That's what he has to do at Real Madrid. I realize it's difficult because you have so many good players, but he should do it more. So yes, I think Van der Vaar is correct on this. I think uh, Gareth Bale does need to wield more power um, you know, in terms of the squad. Um, and I, would say, I wouldn't say negatively, but he does need to be given that freedom. He needs to be given that freedom to do um, maybe uh, more at the club. I would say what he wants, but I would say more uh, because Ronaldo was given that freedom and he was able to flourish. And I think uh, Gareth Bale, uh, he would be able to flourish if he had the same freedom. And I think the problem is that uh, the players don't give him that same freedom or that same um, the same kind of responsibility that they gave to Ronaldo. And I think that's what we need to do with Gareth Bale because Gareth Bale can do it, you know. It's just a matter of giving him the responsibility to do it, and I think the players just don't feel confident enough. I think there's a lot of there's been a lot of ostracization, and I think that's been the problem with Gareth Bale that he's been feel he's been felt kind of left out, and um, you know he's had to put up with a lot. This guy, you know, and he's still at the club. He's still you know he's still doing good. You know, maybe he hasn't had the best season, but. You know, when he comes on, basically, you, you, you get five minutes with him and you have him score a goal. So um, it just shows his quality is still there. Uh, Van der Waer also said Gareth Bale is an amazing player. And he's a person that has to feel the confidence. Um, and, but he has to feel that he is welcome. So obviously, we, at, we as fans, I think we, we boo a lot of, of our players when they're not performing good. I think that's okay. Um, I don't have too much of a problem with that, especially when the players are not performing well. I think the players have to know that they're not doing good. But I think at a certain point, um, we also have to realize when to back off. And I think some of the fans don't realize that, that 
when we boo a player so much that we uh, we we diminish the confidence so much so that you know every bit of confidence that they had or every bit of exuberance that they had is no longer there and I think that's the problem when you boo someone so much you know you can boo them for a little and hopefully you know galvanize something out of that but when you keep doing it and you keep booing them and you keep booing them you strip a player from all their confidence and and that that's the problem when when you when you keep booing the player so I think with Garrett Bale um, you know he, he, he knows that he's not doing maybe as good as he should uh, but we should actually, what we should do is be supportive of him in these hard times. Um, so yeah, so uh, he said, let's see, Van Der also said that, I know Real is a difficult club if you don't perform. It doesn't matter if you're Ronaldo, Bale, or Van Der Vaart. They'll throw you after just one year. So yeah, Ronaldo also got, you know, he also got that treatment. He also got that same treatment just as everyone else. When they're not doing good, they get booed. Uh, Ronaldo got booed when he wasn't doing good. Ronaldo, you saw some videos. He would respond back to the, you know, he would respond back to the fans. He would say, you know, for us, it, stuff like that. Um, but he responds back. He, this guy, you know, Ronaldo. I think that's the thing with him is his his resiliency is something very uh, great to admire. Is that he's very resilient. He'll always respond back when it's needed. And Bale does this from time to time. I'd say he responds back pretty fairly well especially you had the 2014 Copa del Rey where there were critics uh, you know asking where was he in the big teams uh, and then you had also the Champions League final where before that there were critics on him too and you had the Club World Cup this year there were critics on him too um, so there's always been critics you know and and he's all he, he has responded fairly well to them um, but it's just about him doing it on a consistent basis so uh, Let's see, Van Vart, last thing he had to say, I think you have to deal with it, and I don't know if he can do that. Um, I think Garrett Bale can do that. I think he's got the mentality to do it. He's been here at, for six years. He's had to put up with so much, um, you know, and he's even had to put up with the media calling him a failure. And I still see it today. I still see, him, I still see the media calling him a failure um, when really he's been the first English player to actually succeed in, uh, you know, in La Liga. I think before, before Garrett Bale... You didn't. You had no English players that have succeeded in the Liga. Yes, you had David Beckham that was pretty good. Um, uh, I can't even remember who else that was English that went to to the La Liga. I mean, there's just a handful really. And Gareth Bale to do that, to do that, that he got that leap of faith. I mean, it's pretty amazing, and I think it just shows um, kind of his mentality. He does have a good mentality. Um, it's very robust. So um, I think Gareth Bale. Um, there's no problem with that. I think he'll deal it. I think he'll deal with it just fine, and I think he'll come back from it. I think uh, he just needs a, a coach who can give him the confidence, and hopefully Zidane can give him that confidence. Um, you know, I'd just love to see him um, perform really good. I think the only problem with Gareth Bale is he gets injured a lot, and we can't just solely depend on Gareth Bale to win us games because he gets injured a lot. So we have to depend on other players as well. But, um, but yeah, anyways, that's, that's all I have to say about Gareth Bale. Moving on, uh, let's talk about Thibaut Courtois and why he's making the headlines once again. You know, this guy talks a lot, you know, but um, we have to talk about it. It is kind of topical. Um, you know, Courtois, Courtois does need some backing at Real Madrid. I realize that he is a snake, but he's one of us now, and he needs to be back. And he is going through a hard period himself, and I think he does. Uh, need to be backed. I, I hate to say it, and I'm not one that likes Thibaut Courtois that much because of his uh, of his past with Atletico Madrid, of what he says in the press, of what he reveals in the press. He's done it with Chelsea. You know, it's it, it just gets annoying. So let's let's talk about him. He said that there's more pressure at Real Madrid. Fans are more demanding, and I like that. You cannot compare one stadium with another. The Bernabeu with the Vicente Calderón. If you see the Valdebebas, you can see how great Madrid are. It is the best thing I have ever seen. Atleti do not have that. So already there, you have a condescending attitude towards his previous club. And I, I just, I for me, I don't really like that. Um, you know, if I were him, I wouldn't even talk about my Atleti past. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know why he has to bring it up. I don't know if it was a question, but uh, anywho, I just wouldn't bring it up. He said, I love sport. I read a lot of uh, sports journalism as well as things about Atleti. I also meet with Felipe Luis and Diego Costa. We talk about things. I carry great memories from Atletico Madrid. 
I do not regret coming. Madrid is the club I always wanted to be at. Um, at. At Real, I noticed from the first minute when I was in the best club in the world. I wouldn't say that as a as a as a player who has an athletic background. I wouldn't say that. Um, and it's not to say Atletico are a bigger club than Real Madrid, but um, I just think he has to have a little bit more respect for Atletico Madrid. Um, I think at Atletico Madrid, Courtois was a, was a very good goalkeeper. Um, at Real Madrid, he still has to replicate that form, but uh, I think he'll come... I want to say I think he'll come good, but um, it is a little bit difficult. It's a little bit early days. We have to support him. We have to back him. Um, he did talk about Eden Hazard a little bit, too, and... I think we all know that's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Ian had it this summer 100%. Um, but yeah, that's that's really all Super Courtois said. And and like I said, he is a bit of a stake, but um, he's one of us now. And we just have to support him uh, in these harder, more difficult times. Just like Gareth Bale and just like the rest of the squad. So that's all I have for you guys today. Really just to update um, you with, with things that's going on in the news. Uh, as for uh, making more videos, yes, I'll try to make more videos, and probably I'll, I'll make some, you know, in the future, hopefully every day. The only thing is that these past few days, it's, it's just been so slow in the news and the media, and um, I just don't want to make, um, you know, medial videos or videos that have really, uh, you know, no content. I'd rather give you guys, uh, you know, quality over quantity. That's really what it is. So that's all. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Thank you.